Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of K, Burning Dog fans. Whoa. Yeah, I'd say this bridge is really, really broken. I'd also say that that rock in the waterfall looks like a penis, but that's neither here nor there. What I'm really looking for is rocks that look like cats. Awkward transition. Uh. Ooh. Well, this can't have any negative side effects. Strange. The dragon statue is missing one eye. I noticed that. Shouldn't that have been examined? Hey, that's good. Nice to meet you. Two out of, uh, seven. No, it's six. Two out of six. We've got four more cats to look for. Right? No, no, it had to be a coincidence. He's getting shit past the sensors. And then he's putting a giant penis in a family-friendly game. Well, mostly family-friendly. The occasional bastards aside, and just... But I mean... You know, this game is, uh... Isn't especially violent as video games go. There's no, like... There's no blood or decapitations. I do like the way he climbs these things, just using his claws. Jump. You know, a lot of the time when you see animal people used in a game or a story or whatever, they're basically just people with tails. By which I mean they act exactly like humans. You know, they're just funny-looking humans, as far as the story is concerned. And as much as I really enjoyed that game, I have to say it, uh, Dust and Elysian Tail was definitely one of them. Like, the fact that you are... Uh, aside from the fact that the whole, you know, racist subplot thing revolved around, uh revolved around mammals versus reptiles. Uh, everyone in the game could have been human and it wouldn't have changed a thing. Well, except maybe Fidget. Okay, maybe I should go in there. This is where I wish I could manually save. And, uh... Ensure that I'm not missing out on that rad treasure. Yeah. Dick move. There's jade coins in multiple of those golden boat things. I am going to be SUPER PISSED if this doesn't work. Or if this, like, skips me around somewhere. Oh, I guess I should finish that thought. Yeah, this game, at least, you know, you see him shaking water off when he gets out of the, uh, out of the, out of the uh, pools. Yeah, you can crawl around like this, uh, for some reason, I don't know. Maybe for shits and giggles. You know, they talk about drinking bowls of milk and enjoying catnip.
Hello? Bug nest. Right, there is no map button. Hello? Are you a murdering bug or a good bug? We have our answer. Hello, I'm going to kill you. Oh. Clever. Hey, a one up. What's up? That was an arrow. No, I can see you back there. I just some guy just walks, uh, stopped by, and like who's leaning against a tree or something to catch his breath. And then that happens. What? Because he doesn't know I just pulled that. As far as he knows, that just happened. Kind of looks like Hobbiton. Oh, this would be their, uh, magic spring. Right. Because everyone had one. Er, come on! Ah, no health down here. Let's bring them the gift of bees. No, it's not. That's, that would be terrible. I didn't realize that was a, uh, hill. What's up? Have you seen Bebe? Ah, through your cave! They told me about you. You'll find Bebe with our mayor too loud. Just follow the way up and enter the open door. There he is! He always says, a mayor's door is to be open for all who need him. Suddenly I wonder if they all have lisps because of the buck teeth. Good afternoon. What's the big deal here? Yes! We're expecting the rat's attack at any moment. Great. Mayor Too Lao is trembling with concern up in his house. Where can I find your mayor? What do you want from mayor? I am his best friend. We walk together every day. Certainly, he's in his house now. If you see him, remember me to him. It's a strange way of putting that, but okay. Bye, says hi. Oh, they're grazing. <laughs> That's kind of what I was talking about. Makes it much more believable as an animal world. Maybe you know. Me? Know anything? Guess why they call idiots hair-brained. Maybe you know. Me? Know anything? I can't skip that. Guess why they call idiots Hair-brained! I like that, he's down to earth. Good afternoon. Oh, it's What's you again. Here? Can't skip this yes. either. We're expecting the rat's attack at any moment. Mayor Too so, is trembling with concern up in his house. Are all of the uh, rabbits I've met so far male? Or do they only have one model for them? Because honestly, with some of the voices, I can't tell. Or Jekyll. Can't walk through the carrots. Hey, buddy. Why are you running around in circles here? Ah, you're stumped, ain't ya? I'm practicing. If I manage to hop around the island 300 times in one day, I may eat these carrots. They're the best, juicy, firm, very delicious. Wonder if that means there's like an achievement for running around this island 300 times. Ah, uh, fair enough. I figured that would be like, oh, here's free money. 
Ah! Okay. Put the cat among the pigeons. Achievement unlocked. Get a ten times combo. Yeah! Mmm! Delicious! I lost health. How did I lose health? That's why that's over there. Oh, is this because I struck the bad ones? No! That was weird. The frame rate dropped to 8 for a second there. I thought the game was crashing. What cheery music. I like this place. Oh! Tricked you! It's not a distance thing. Like, I am legitimately really reluctant to continue the main quest line, but okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Not for sure there'd be a cat statue back here. There's an invisible wall behind that one, for the record. So I'm pretty sure Kay is supposed to be a boy, but it's weird that he's like the same size as most fully grown cats. I don't know if you've ever seen a kitten, but they're puny. Uh, oh. Hello, sir. Hello, my young fellow. You must be Kay, yes? Your reputation precedes you. Uh, uh, Bebe recounts endlessly how you defeated the rats and rescued him. I think maybe he exaggerated a bit. I hear you're after our friend, Cap. Got that right. It's personal. He closed my fighting school, trashed our village, Somebody's got to stand up to that scum-sucking cheese breath. Just so. Undoubtedly, the same things you do to us. Our only hope is some protection from the dragon, Tor Chi. Look, there's the entrance to the dragon's cave. But we can't reach it. it anymore because the bridge is damaged. To get there, we have to solve the secret of the three dragon statues. But the rats inhibit us. We need the three rubies, the dragon's eyes. Legend says that the dragon will help those who solve the secret of the dragon's statues. We had found all three rubies, but always when we tried to activate one statue, our brave scout hairs got caught and the ruby was taken by the rats. You saved Baby, and he carried our last ruby. Just imagine what will happen when the rats enter the dragon's cave first. Their power would grow even larger. Their evil plans would come to fruition. Great. I'll handle this. You can count on me. You have to. Because they want to enchant Torchi with their evil magic. Like what they have done with Borax. Torchi would be controlled by their will. Hmm. He'd be turned against us and every other peace-loving peoples. No problem, Tulao. I'll convince Tor Chi that he should protect you guys from now on. You would do this for us? Yes, I believe you will. Here is our last ruby.
Activate the three dragon statues. Hidden deep in the woods, there are three dragon statues. The owner of the three ruby dragon's eyes can activate them. The magic power of the statues will assemble the debris of the bridge leading to the dragon cave. But caution, your enemies have already found the dragon statues and are guarding them. Find the dragon Torchi. Find the dragon Torchi in his dragon cave and ask him to protect the hare forest from the rats and gorillas in the future. You know, uh, the way that the shopkeeper referred to the mayor made me assume he was going to be a total asshole. Nice guy, huh? Hi, baby. I found some cat statues. What else can you tell me? When I sneaked out of the rat camp, I saw a crumbly part in the rocks hidden behind bamboo. Hi, baby. I found some cat statues. What else can you tell me? When I sneaked out of the rat but, camp, I saw a That was the first one I found. Hidden behind bamboo. Hey, check out the tree portals. Luck be with you. Okay. You have found one of the dragon eyes you can attach to the dragon statues. Hey, I am now going to open the tree portals for you. Oh, okay. So you have access to all areas of the forest. Oh, those what things. Right, right, right. Let's go check those out then. This area is substantially less shitty with the, uh... Bugs dead. Like... Of course, obviously they're way more cartoony, but oh hey, it's that guy. What do you, cat? Get him, boys! You must be Tack. Listen. We don't bother me, Catnip West. We're after that pesky dragon. I need six men or seven. No, no, six will do. But he didn't activate the statues, so it won't count. I'm coming for you, you dirty rat. Okay. Turn your back on me, will you? So I'm invincible while I'm doing the move. And, uh, they can get hit with the, uh, peripheral madness. Bring it. None of you are alive anymore! Congratulations! Clever on them. They don't drop, uh, I mean the developers. They don't drop... Uh, magic points if you're killing them with magic. Okay, don't want to go through that one, obviously. What? Okay, let's not then. Let's start with the Fish River. No, let's start with the other one. It had a cooler name. Yeah. I see you! Oh, there's a big spiky thing down there. You know, the way they move around kind of reminds me of the, uh, the bug things from Resident Evil 4. Obviously a whole lot less disgusting, but... You are no longer alive.
Holy shit, I killed that bad guy with another bad guy! I think that might have been a yin-yang symbol when I walked in. I wasn't sure if he was close enough to hit me, but you know, better safe than sorry. And it worked. Piss, I need a bomb. Oh right, there's a store near here. Oh. No you don't, nope, nope. Get back here. They remind me of the, uh, little fleshlings. Oh yeah, this is clearly an opening right there. But this isn't. I don't know why they would assign over here. Let's go, uh, this way. Alright, I'm gonna get that bomb, blow open the wall, and call it a video. Well, fuck you. the dragon's cave. Hope he's not up to no good. <laughs> That's a very fair price. Bombs. Never leave home without one. When the fuse catches, you should get away quickly. Otherwise, boom. Thank you. I'm actually really surprised he doesn't have a good bias spiel. Sucks to be you. I had a feeling that's what it was. Two left. <clears throat> Stretch. Or three left? Fuck, I don't know how many I've got. I'll just keep looking. In any event, I'm Burning Dog Face. Ooh. And we have this loveliness to look forward to in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of K. I'll see you then.